an object from beyond our solar system is hurtling through space. Scientists are tracking a unique visitor from distant space. What secrets could it carry? Astronomers say the interstellar comet they've named 3I Atlas is hurling toward the inner part of the solar system from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. Will this interstellar invader, 3I slash ATLAS, tell us more about star systems far beyond our own? Now scientists are analyzing data to determine exactly what this is and what it's made of. Could the charged particles it sheds become a message or a mystery? And perhaps, what does it mean for our place in the universe if we can sample material from beyond the sun's neighborhood? So it's, it's not a threat to the Earth, but it's certainly representative of the kinds of so-called small bodies that are out there uh, that could pose a threat to the Earth. Let's dive into the story of 3 I slash ATLAS, the charged particle shower, and the chance to study an object that originated somewhere else. The comet is no ordinary comet. It's an interstellar object, meaning it didn't form in our solar system, but traveled here from another star system. Only two such interstellar objects have ever been confirmed before this one. It's moving fast on a hyperbolic trajectory, and it will pass inside the orbit of Mars, bringing it closer to the sun than many comets we're used to. That alone raises the question, what can an object from outside our solar system tell us about how other worlds form, and maybe how ours came to be? Here's where things get spine tingling. The probe Europa Clipper, currently en route to Jupiter, may soon be in the right place at the right time to sample charged particles streaming from three I slash ATLAS's ion tail. This isn't just a cosmic coincidence. This alignment between the sun, the comet, and the spacecraft is rare. The researchers have even built computer code called Tailcatcher to track these alignments. Between October 30th and November 6th, the opportunity emerges. Europa Clipper may literally be bathed in ions ripped loose from this interstellar comet. Now ask yourself, if you could collect material from an alien comet, wouldn't you? And what if you miss the moment? Would you lose forever the chance to peek into another star system's chemistry? A comet like 3I slash ATLAS has two tails, a dust tail, which we've mostly seen, and an ion tail, a stream of charged particles blown away by the solar wind. The dust tail is visible and dramatic, but we can't currently fly a spacecraft right into 3I slash ATLAS's dust tail. And this one uh, is a representative of Another solar system escaped its solar system, probably from a close pass by another planet in that solar system, uh, and made its way across interstellar space to, to fly through our solar system. There's tens of thousands of asteroids in our own solar system that make close passes by our planet, and we rely on, on NASA and, um, and the, the funding for NASA and the astronomers that, that work for NASA to, to keep an eye on these things, to track them and to allow us to have an early warning if uh, any of them are on uh, bad trajectories. But the ion tail? It's streaming out, carried by the solar wind hundreds of miles per second. And it could reach Europa Clipper. What's so eerie about that is? This is material from a body that formed far away in another star's neighborhood. And by sampling it, we might compare it to comets from our solar system asking, are we fundamentally the same, or are we alien to each other? Charged particles, strange abundances, heavy ions, these will all tell a story. But hold on, there are hurdles, because Europa Clipper is currently in cruise mode. Not all instruments may be turned on, and the U.S. government shut down at the time of writing threatens to delay activation. NASA science. So even the best laid predictions might fail if the probe can't wake up. Yet if the instruments are ready, 
and the alignment happens, we could sample, in effect, a visitor from another galaxy. This is both a rare opportunity and a fragile one. One misstep, one delay, and we may never get this kind of shot again for decades. If Europa Clipper intercepts ions from 3 i slash ATLAS, scientists will look for heavier species, water group ions, anomalies in the solar wind flow, because the cometary ions behave differently than normal solar wind ions. Imagine detecting a signature that says, this came from a world unlike ours. We might trace back the chemistry, the history, the environment of a star system we have never visited. We might learn, did planets form differently elsewhere? Is our solar system unusual, or just one of many? And yes, there is even speculation, though far from consensus, that 3 i slash atlas could be something odd. Unusual chemical composition, strange tail structure, which raises the eerie question, what if what we think is a comet is hiding more? What if it's a messenger from a distant star system? So what happens next? Europe's ESA mission, HERA, will also be in the game. Though it lacks the charged particle sensors the US mission has, the countdown is on. October 30th through November 6th is our window. Will Europa Clipper wake up on time and catch the shower? Will we be able to reach the chemical memory of an interstellar wanderer? And just maybe, will this tell us our place in the cosmos is not as unique as we thought or far stranger? If you enjoy these videos and want to help keep Voidverse ad-free, you can support the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. Every contribution, no matter how small, helps me spend more time researching, writing, and creating the kind of deep, unsettling stories that make you question the universe. What did you think about today's journey? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. We've got more strange, unsettling, and fascinating stories from the universe headed your way. Until then, stay safe and stay curious.